Hey guys, Brian here, and today I want to show you guys how I form my own chords. It's a pretty easy technique and I use it a ton. So I'll show you guys in the key of C, and these chords are based on the pentatonic scale. If you guys don't know what that is, I have two links in the description that'll help you guys out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bar three notes on the fifth fret, but it's going to be on the D, the G, and the B strings. It's going to sound like this. And what you guys will notice is that is already the one, three, and the five to form the C chord. So this is my C chord right here. And the secret to doing this is that I use the remaining of my fingers to play notes of the pentatonic scale to form my own chords. I'll give you guys an example. I'll add some effects. So basically what I'm doing is I'm choosing to pick at least two to three notes based on how I feel and I accent the changing notes. So whatever notes are changing, I pick that a little harder. And doing this does two really important things for me. The first thing is that I'm able to play specific lines of a song and still make my guitar sound really big. This is the exact same thing that I did in my cover of Waymaker. In the chorus part, there's a specific line and I'm able to play that line but still make my guitar sound pretty big. And the second thing that this does for me is that it gives me the artistic freedom to play my own chords and make my own voice in the song. But you should definitely go out and try playing around with these chords because these chords are pretty different. It's different than looking at a chord sheet and seeing, oh, this is the first chord, this is the second chord. You don't really follow the chord sheet at this point. You're thinking about, will this chord sound good on top of everything else my band is playing? So you have to rely on how well you know the song so that you can harmonically support the song the best way you can. And with that said, there is a limitation with these chords. When you guys are playing these chords, you might notice that you're not really playing the root note of the chord. And because of this, you have to really rely on somebody in the band, and that's typically the bassist or at least another guitarist, in which they can create a foundation so that I can play these chords on top of that. Because if you didn't have any of these people playing the root notes of the chord and create a direction of the song, playing these chords is going to be kind of empty. And if the foundation is there and you're playing this on top of that foundation, this will sound really awesome because there's a greater diversity in the soundscape and I think that's where the electric guitar really shines. So that is it for this video. If you guys thought that was helpful, please like this video and subscribe because it helped me a ton. If you guys have any questions or if you guys have any suggestions you guys want me to go over, please comment below and I'll get to them. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.